Okay, Sagittarius. It's going to be um, a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I'm going to use um, fortune cookie, Chinese fortune cookie oracle here this week. I like these the best, so I'm using these again. Romance. Okay. It says, love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. All right. Okay, and I'm using a new deck this week. Okay, so for Sagittarius, for this upcoming week. And uh, at the end of this, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like, that would be cool. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would appreciate that. So far, it looks like some changes they're going on there are about to go on. So there are fire signs here, air signs, and water signs. Also earth because uh, Virgo stands out here, and that's an earth sign. And uh, Aries stands out also. I'm just looking at the cards here for a second. Like I said, it's a new deck, so I'm just looking at it. Um, I mean, I've looked through it, but this is the first week with the readings that I'm using it. Okay. Well, actually, you have two ones. I'm looking for the numbers because you have the magician and that's the first um, card of the major arcana. Well, the fool is the first card, but that's zero. So you have the magician and you have the ace of swords. So it's two ones. So the number one is about new beginnings. Okay, so you start off here with the seven of wands. And that says to stand up for your beliefs and to have confidence. Maybe a challenging time. I don't know if you've been having to defend yourself or if that's just lately you're having to defend yourself, but do stand up for yourself. And it says to hold your ground with integrity. It also speaks of being persistent and having uh, perseverance. also shows that some people may want what you have. And for some of you also, it says to be selective in love. Next, you have the High Priestess. And that's about abundance and prosperity. Also about marriage and pregnancy. So for some of you, I don't know if you're planning or if you're wanting marriage, what it looks like. That's for some of you, like I said, just some. And... It does show that you're on the right track. And also, some of you might just, I don't know if it's the way you're presenting yourself or the 
or what, but some of you are a little more attractive right now also. It can be just the way you handle yourself or it can be, can be however you hold yourself, you know, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. Now it can also be for some birth, the birth of a new idea. I mean, some of you might be either want to get pregnant or are pregnant or, and then for others, it can just be, like I said, the birth of a new idea. Some of you might even be a caregiver or guardian type. Okay, next here is the hermit. So that's about self-discovery and uh, finding that like that, that inner wisdom and solitude and maybe, you know, taking a break to find that inner wisdom or that solitude or doing some self-discovery, just like you're, you're carving out some me time. Also, it can be that some of you might be in your head a little too much. So some of you might need to take a break and do some self-discovery, and others of you can be just in your head a little too much, maybe. Next here, you have the magician. So the magician says, if you believe it, you can do it. It's about having that skill, concentration, and power and action and again it says have confidence so it's another card that says have confidence but you or maybe you do you know I feel like some of you do have confidence and others it's telling you to have some confidence but it's telling you to acknowledge your inner power and potential and you have all the right stuff that you need so if you're trying to manifest something you have everything you need to manifest what you want Next here, you have the Ace of Swords. So this is a card of victory. It's progress. It's mental clarity. It's triumph over difficulties. Some of you may have had a challenging beginning, but uh, it, it says it's time to focus now on new opportunities. Okay, next you have the Queen of Wands. And that shows that there is nothing that you can't do. And I know you guys get this card, I want to say often, or maybe you've gotten a few times, but I feel like you've gotten it often. But it shows that you're talented and uh, ambitious. And if you're a parent or a mom, like a super mom or a super dad. But it does say, trust your instincts. And also, it looks like how how other people perceive you is important to you. Next here, you have the fool. And that says take a leap of faith and to trust yourself. So it can be, you know, a new start. I, I mentioned over here about new opportunities or or um, time to focus on new opportunities and with this it's about a new start and then um, shows that some of you might be a free spirit type but it can be a new job or a new relationship but it does say to stay true to yourself next you have the six of cups so, some of you might be wanting to simplify your life, or maybe you're thinking a lot. Um, like I said that, so some of you might be in your head a little bit much, but maybe you're thinking about the good old days, or how things used to be. Or maybe you want to go back to, you know, easier times. And, and for some of you, it can be a blast from the past, also, coming back around. And... Um, might even be, you know, something to do with like reunions for some of you.
Next, you have the Five of Cups. And that shows that some of you might be feeling let down or disappointed or maybe you have some regret about something. Maybe you're thinking about past issues and you're having regret over it. It could be. Maybe you're in your head too much about that. Some of you are. And others of you might be ha you know, have a little depression going on maybe. Or maybe, maybe you feel like there's been failure or something. But just know that things happen for a reason. And uh, you can turn things around. Try to look for the hidden blessings. Okay, I'm going to pull an um, extra oracle card here, or a different oracle card here. And sometimes I'll take a card if it flips over, sometimes I won't, depends on how I feel. And I want to take it, and it says, don't let your past hold you back. So this correlates with what I was saying, if you're in your head, if you're thinking about past issues or things from the past, or thinking about childhood memories or the good old days or something to do with the past here this is saying don't let your past hold you back and i talked about new opportunities so look ahead all right you guys um if you like this give it a like that you know that would be really cool and if you wouldn't mind subscribing i would really appreciate it all right you guys thanks a lot